Hey guys, it's me Rahul and today I have a sort of different video for you guys. PUBG Mobile and streaming is getting so popular right now, especially in India. One of the fast growing channels in India right now are gaming channels which streams PUBG Mobile. So you also might be interested in streaming PUBG Mobile to YouTube, but you don't know what software to use and how to do it. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the best software and settings to use for streaming PUBG Mobile. Just a disclaimer, if you want to know how to stream PUBG Mobile from your mobile to YouTube, this is not the video to watch. I'm gonna be playing PUBG Mobile with the official emulator. So for this to work, your YouTube account must have the ability to host a live stream. You can check this by going to YouTube status and feature sections and enable live streaming. Then download a software called Streamlabs OBS. The reason why we are using Streamlabs is that it has a lot of nice features that makes it really easy to set up a stream. So download the Streamlabs and install it. Log in with your account to Streamlabs. This part isn't necessary, you don't have to make an account in Streamlabs, but having an account in it will help you to backup and sync your preset scenes and settings. Go to this editor section, then before we try to add any fancy text or alert boxes, let's add the game to the canvas. So in OBS, there is scenes and sources. So a scene has many sources or layers in it. You can change the scene while live streaming to maybe show another angle or something else. We're gonna be only using one scene to make it a lot simpler. So in this source menu, click on this plus icon, then select window capture and click on add source. Then give it a name and then click on add new source, then select Android emulator.exe. Then select match title, otherwise find a window of same type. You can enable or disable cursor capture, that's really your preference, then hit done. Now you can see that on the preview window. So what is on this preview window is gonna be in the live stream too. If you want to like scale any sources to the screen, then right click on the layer, then transform fit to screen. If the preview on OBS freezes or it's just black, first switch to Tencent Gaming Buddy window or alt tap to that window and go back to OBS and check again. If that didn't work, try doing what I did a minute ago again after relaunching the game. So streaming to YouTube or Twitch is very simple. Go to YouTube or Twitch, then you need to find the stream key and copy that stream key and open OBS settings and click on stream and set stream type to streaming services and service to YouTube or Twitch. Then paste the key over here. If you don't know, basically the stream key is like a password for the stream. If you have the stream key, you can stream to that particular channel. Since we are in settings, let's talk about the optimized best settings that I found to be simple and best. Go to output and set output mode to simple. Select a bitrate that you see on the table right now, depending on the quality that you're streaming. I'm gonna be streaming on 720p, so 3000 kbps is good. Select encoder to NVNC, which is the NVIDIA encoder. You will only have this option if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Otherwise, select QSV, which is the Intel, Intel's encoder. Uh, then set audio bitrate to 160. Then go to video and set base canvas to 1080 and output to whatever the resolution you want to stream. And also you can change the FPS values as well if you want to stream in 60 FPS. That is totally up to you. One of the key things in this is output settings. If you are using advanced menu which has more finer controls, don't use rescale output function because it will use CPU for downscaling. If you are having problem with lag, then enable advanced encoder settings and set it to high performance, then hit done. And hit go live to start streaming. So like I said earlier, this is just a basic tutorial on how to set up your PUBG stream. If you want to have cool graphics and alerts and things like that, you can either choose one of the presets to get started and edit it to make it yours, or if you know basic CSS and HTML, you can make your own themes as well. In order to access preset themes of Streamlabs, you need to have an account in Streamlabs. Then go to Themes tab, select a preset, click on Install Overlay. Each theme has many scenes and you can set it up by editing the sources. For an example, I installed this PUBG themed overlay and on this live screen scene, I'm gonna change the sources to display my PUBG mobile gameplay. So delete this background, add a new source, window capture, select Tencent Gaming Buddy and done and place that layer below everything and you're basically ready to stream to YouTube or Twitch. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.